The proportion of women who delay having children until their 30s has increased in the past few decades. The number has grown to such a point that last month fertility doctors warned Canadian women are waiting too long to start a family. Part of the problem is the success rate of fertility treatments. A researcher at the University of Victoria has spent his life looking at reproductive technology and as CTV's Stephen Andrews shows us his work could soon lead to better odds for women over 30 looking to get pregnant. For women over 35, the chance of having a baby drops dramatically. More and more, they are turning to in vitro fertilization. And while the process is seeing increasing success, the numbers are not encouraging. A 2007 study by the Canadian Fertility and Andrology Society found a 26% live birth rate in human-assisted reproduction. For more than 30 years, this University of Victoria researcher has been studying animal development, accumulating as much information as possible about the development of eggs. The complexity still amazes me. It is far more complicated than we initially assumed. The levels of complication of how a cell works is bad enough, but you know, how does a, a fertilized egg transform itself into a functioning individual. The advancement of microlecular biology in the past 25 years has allowed Professor Burke and other researchers to gain a greater understanding of that process. Eggs are not making new proteins, their metabolism is suppressed. When they're fertilized, they become activated. They initiate uh, protein synthesis. They start their metabolism again. They copy the DNA and they enter the cell cycle. They begin to get ready to divide. And, and how that happens, we now have very detailed molecular models. Burke believes those models will soon provide enough information on human embryos to improve in vitro fertilization. Professor Burke is a leading expert in his field and has spent most of his life at UVic, an institution he says is growing its reputation around the world and one that is not fully understood by the community on Vancouver Island. There is a bit of a disconnect there. The community sees us as teaching students in large classrooms. That's the way we, they think we spend most of our time. In fact, um, I think most people spend most of their time engaged in, in research. We don't just pedal knowledge, we create knowledge. When I walk down the halls now at the University of Victoria, I see uh, students and faculty engaged in modern molecular research. They are working at the forefronts of their field. Um, it is an amazing institution and uh, something that I think everybody in British Columbia can be proud of. Research that up until now has been relatively unknown perhaps secret even. Research that includes searching for new ways to diagnose cancer, developing new drugs to fight flu pandemics, and creating new plastics to carry electricity. And in that research, Professor Burke admits there is another secret. For most academics, our dirty little secret is we'd probably do it anyway, whether we were paid or not. Uh, <laughs> he might not say that. He might not put that on. <laughs> Stephen Andrews, CTV News, Sandwich.